Hi everyone. Today I'm gonna show you a few basic Linux commands that you can use in bioinformatics. The first basic command is pwd which means prints working directory. It basically shows which directory you are in. And the next command is uh, ls which means lists contents which shows the contents of your the directory that you are in so now you are in home directory so it shows you all the contents that are present in that home directory which are desktop documents downloads etc and if you want to change the directory that you are in you can just type cd which means change directory and then type the which directory that you want to change to in here i am changing to music be aware of the capital letters the m is capital the first letter is capital so cd space music turns you to into the music directory and if you want to create a file in that directory you can use the command touch and space and give the title that you want to give it to your document here i have already created few files named file 1 file 2 file a using the touch command So here now I'm using touch space file B to create a new file named file B and this file will be saved in the music directories because I am currently in the music directory and then you can check whether the file is saved or not by checking the lists of the contents in that directory which command is ls so when you type ls you can see the files that in the music directory are file 1 file 2 file a and b so i'll be using file 2 as an example to show you the further commands which i created by using touch command and you by using get it command i i typed in few words and saved as file 2 name and then clicked on save and it will be saved in your music directory and then you can use that file to look at the further commands here i gave hello and some numbers to show you basically you can use this head tail commands to look into your larger files but because my file is so small you can see the same data for head and small head and tail so you can look at them by just typing head and space and give your file name which is file to here and click enter now you can see what all the things that are present in the file too and the other command is word count so you can know the number of words in your file by just typing wc space and the file name so in this case of file 2 it gave as 4 4 and 35 which means there are four lines four words and 35 characters that are present in file 2 which are in the music directory and uh, if you want to see particular characters that you're in your file you can use the cut command if you use cut space here i'm using character 3 which is c3 you can see all the character third from all the words that are present in this file And if you want to move your file from one directory to another directory, you can use this command move, move space and your file name and then dot dot hash sorry, slash and the directory that you want to change into here I'm using videos and click enter. Now you can see by typing ls, there is no file one in music directories because it shifted to videos and now if you want to change the directory you can use the command cd cap and dot dot slash videos 
and click enter now the directory is changed to videos and then with the using ls command you can check whether the file is moved from music to videos and you can see here the file one is moved to videos and if you want to go to home directory you just type in you just type in cd gap dot dot slash and click enter it just takes you to the home directory if you want to create a new directory you can use the command mkdir which is make directory and then give the name of the directory that you want to create here i am giving results and click enter and to know the unique characters that are present in your file you can just type unique and space and your file name and it gives out all the unique words that are present in your file if there is no space it is considered as a single file and if you want to move the file change your file name you can use this command move which is mv from here i'm using move the file to document to the new name which is text2.txt so and then press enter and now the file 2 is named as text2.txt so now the name has changed now i'm using text2.txt name instead of file 2 and check which data does it gives so if you want to sort the data accordingly you can use sort space and your file name so initially it gives with numbers and then arranges according to the alphabetical order the cat command is to read the contents of your file and if your file is a zip file or rar file you have to use a z in front of cat command to read it so it will be zcat command to read your files if they are zip and click enter so here it reads the all the words that are present in the document and finally if you want to save all the commands that you have been using in this linux it's so simple just type in history and space and the greater than symbol and give the name that you want it to save as here i'm giving today's date and click enter now you can see this file is saved as text file and you can view this file in the home name with the name that you have given to it and then when you click on the file you can see all the commands that you have been using today thank you for watching